following the controversial remarks by the spokesman of the Northern Elders Forum, NEF, Al-Haji Akim Baba Ahmed, a chieftain of the All Progressive Congress, APC, in Niger State, Comrade Jonathan Vatsa, had said the North is taking advantage of the disunity among politicians in the southern part of the country to want to contribute to cling to power. The former spokesman of the APC, while speaking to journalists in Mina, the Niger state's capital, also accused some southern politicians of always leaking the boots of their northern colleagues to the detriment of the political development of their region. Vatsa, who was one time commissioner for information in the administration of Governor Abubakar Sani Belu, also took a swipe on the Kaduna State Governor Malam Nasser Herufai over his comment on the country's presidency come 2023, saying, Until such a time that the South will unite, speak, and act with one voice, the North will continue to dominate the political landscape of Nigeria. Accordingly, he added, the northern politicians and other elites have discovered the weaknesses of their southern counterparts, saying they explore these weaknesses and use it to their advantage. One strong weapon the north is holding and capitalizing on is the disunity among the southern political elites. It has been their you know, it has been there, pardon, since independence. Again, the North sponsors crisis among them because there are people from the South who are more loyal to the North than even their own people. The truth is, when you have that kind of situation, it will be difficult for the South to come together. What is your thought about this that has been said? We have heard what Vatsa has said concerning the present situation of things as Islam, the northern elders, saying not is taking advantage of the disunity among the southern leaders. You know, without anybody telling anyone, we can see that the southern leaders are not together. Take, for instance, when, you know, the issue of the open grazing ban, you know, was coming up while the 17 states, you know, the 17 southern state governors came together and they said, this is what we want. When the deadline came, we still have some of the governors who by then have not enacted the law. It shows that they only agreed, but they don't speak in one voice. According to what has been said by a northern elder, that the North is taking advantage of the disunity among Southern governors. What is your thought about this? Still on the issue of the 2023. Who would like you to drop your thoughts and reactions via the comment section? You know, it is obvious that most of our leaders now are not even concerned about the well-being of their citizen. They are not you know, concerned about the states of the nation. All they are concerned about now is how to go and vote. How to get, you know, voted for. How? The 2023 election is gonna look like that is what most of them are thinking about and that is why you know series of things are really happening to us in this country do you want to tell me that even when there's no peace election could take place in this country according to what we've heard following the controversial remarks by the spokesman of the northern elders forum al-haji akim baba ahmed who is also a chieftain of the All Progressive Congress APC in Niger States, Comrade Jonathan Vatsa, he said the North is taking advantage of the disunity among politicians in the southern part of the country to want to continue to cling to power. That is exactly what is happening in the southern part of Nigeria. Our leaders are now are disuniting themselves all because they want to cling to political power. They want to remain in power and that is why we have been failing. That is why they have been failing and 
they will continue to fail until they wake up to the reality and know that everything is not about political power. You need to do something to help you know, develop the nation because it is only when the nation is developing that even the politicians also will have a say. Looking at the visit of President Muhammad Buhari to the United States, let's assume he has been a wonderful president to, you know, to its citizen in Nigeria, Tommy, who will have gone ahead of him to protest against his administration. No one, and even if there should be a protest ahead of him or even in his presence, it will have been people who are ready to protest you know, for him for the good things he has done in his state. But looking at the present situation, he has not done anything to encourage the citizens. He has not done anything to help the youth. And that is why we have anti-Buhari protesters, of which is a disgrace to the president if he doesn't know. Imagine anti-Buhari protesters protesting against you know, President Buhari even outside Nigeria. Don't you think that is a very huge disgrace? But it's unfortunate that uh, most of our leaders, they are not concerned about all this. They are not concerned if they have been disgraced or not. All what they want is to continue to cling to power, according to what has been said by a spokesman of the Northern Elders Forum, Al-Haji Akim Baba Ahmed. Who would like you to drop your thoughts on this plan development? Who would like you to share your own point of view with us on this plan development? But before we go, let's see people's reactions and know their thoughts about this. Let's see what people have felt concerning the present situation of things in Nigeria. Can the Oyele Kong reacted to this and said, When the South rule, the poor ones in the North enjoys, but when the North rules, the rich one in the South only enjoys. Why is this happening? When the South are the one ruling, the poor ones in the Northern part enjoys, but when it is the North that is ruling, the rich one in the south are the only ones that are enjoying just looking at the present situation of things in nigeria this is exactly what we are facing the president we have in nigeria is from the northern part and as we can see it is only the rich ones of the southern parts that are only enjoying the masses of the south are becoming more poorer the rich ones are becoming richer while the poor ones are becoming more poorer of which is not supposed to be the government of nigeria is not really helping the present situation and that is why there have been so many agitation from different groups guest here also reacted and said south is not united because of greed and treasury of the Yorubas. all what they want is how to loot and cling to political powers of which is not the only reason why they are political leaders that is what guests have said why are the South not united just because of greediness, self-centeredness, selfishness, or they want to cling to power? That is all what they know. We would like you to drop your thoughts on this plan development. We would like you to share your reaction to this. That has been said, as we can see, we all know that all these things that we are facing in Nigeria is as a result of bad leadership. And we hope that coming 2023, we will have a very good and wonderful, competent leader. Don't forget that still on the issue of the 2023 and vatsa have slammed the northern elders saying not is taking advantage of the disunity among the southern governors do you think it's high time the southerners you know try to unite themselves so that the north will not take advantage of them 